Uh, we have um, some news with uh, Fallout 76. There was an interview with Todd Howard mm-hmm. over the week. Um, so IGN has these um, these things called unfiltered, and they're just a one-on-one with a game dev or a, a game director, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So Ryan McCaffrey, uh, he talked to um, um, Todd, uh, I just had his name, Todd Howard, uh, Bethesda, and he kind of... T. Kind Howie. Of a, T. Howie. <laughs> he got kind of, um, you know, as much as a, of an honest uh, kind of... Uh, insight on the development of Fallout 76 as you can get, but um, they, they went in, in depth and talked about the release and they underst- understand the shortcomings of Fallout 76. But um, here's a quote I can pull up from Todd Howard in that interview. So um, in, in response to actually um, how Fallout 76 was received in the development. Um, so this is a quote. We knew we were going to have a lot of bumps. That's a difficult development. A lot of new systems and things like that. Hey, we were going to try this new thing. Anytime you're going to do something new like that, you know you're going to have your bumps. You know a lot of people might say, that's not the game we want from you, but we still want to do something that's trying new things, Howard said. That was a very difficult difficult development on that game to get it where it was. A lot of these difficulties ended up on the screen. We knew, hey, look, this is not the type of game that people are used to from us, and we're going to get some criticism on it. A lot of that very well-deserved criticism. Uh, He goes on. Howard uh, went on to say that Bethesda never expected Fallout 76 to get the highest review scores. Even from the beginning, we thought, this is not going to be a high Metacritic game. That's not what this is, given what it is, Howard said. If there was one thing I would have done differently, it would have been to find a way to scale, um, to let people uh, play the game 24-7 before you say, everybody in, here you go, pay us. Howard also clarified that Fall- oh. mm-hmm. yeah. How- Howard also clarified that Fall 76 was developed not principally by the main team at Bethesda Game Studios in Maryland. Instead, the entire Bethesda team in Austin, Texas, worked on Fallout 76 with support from teams in Dallas, Montreal, and home base in Rockinville, Maryland, where a lot of people contributed. Hmm. Um, anyone, anyone catch the, the license plate on that bus he just threw that team under? <laughs> yeah, why kind of uh, reference <laughs> You didn't need to say that. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, maybe to kind of save face or, or kind of keep the quality that they're known for with their main team. I'm not sure. But um, if he would have uh, paraphrased that, and there was a longer interview that that's, that's taken from, but maybe he paraphrases that with saying, like, but we love that team, we trust them, and we trust it. They also gave them a, a different kind of project to work on. You know, it wasn't like a mm-hmm. cookie cutter, like, hey, make the next Fallout, which if you follow these steps, maybe you're more inclined to success. This was like a totally different a spin on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just some insight on the development with Fallout 76. It's interesting. Yeah, um, there was a, so that was released on little bits of that was released on what Saturday and um, some people online like mainly uh, there's a well known um, um, guy online uh, it's the he runs a gym quisition um, oh Jim Sterling yeah he was you know pretty um, quickly negative on it just the fact that they can Jim Sterling right. is <laughs> negative <laughs> yeah and he's awesome but yeah he he's really quick to give him shit Todd Howard mainly about how they knowingly knew it was you know. Uh, the message coming down the line is this thing isn't going to be ready. It's not up to up to par, but they end up just kind of releasing anyways. And maybe that shouldn't be something that's so accepted, you know, in the games industry. Yeah. And it is, I mean, it is accepted. And we've certainly gotten really good things out of it, though, in the past. Like, I mean, there's definitely a lot of not exceptions to the rule. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I figured that they would be able to pull it off better than they did. Right, right. And maybe that's, you know, because they let that separate team work on it, but it's still the buck stops with them. It should, right? Or yeah. they should kind of take responsibility for that. Well, I feel like still I, this is one of those things where I think a lot of the problems is the engine because this is still a modified version of the Fallout 4 engine, and that mm. engine was never built to make a game like this. Right. Just use, like, another engine that's meant to scale like this. They have another engine that they've used for... Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, right? So they yeah. have an engine that can be played with a lot of people. They can build big worlds very, very quickly. Mm. Uh, that game is still expanding and got a good player base. Uh, I've, yeah. I've heard, I don't know if it still has those problems, but I heard certainly at launch that it had sort of lag issues. Um, you might be right, but I do remember when that um, when the, the Elder Scrolls Online released, it didn't have much of a negative you know, reaction to it. It seemed like mm-hmm. they kind of, for the most part, had it down. Yeah, they kept supporting it with DLC, and there just wasn't a huge negative reaction that I saw with that game, for sure. Yeah. But I know that was a different team that, um, that developed that. I forget the name of it. Elder Scrolls Online? But, um, yeah, oh, yeah, apparently. But um, but you're right. Like, how about, you know, they have access to another engine. Uh, why not do something like that? Yeah. But um, that might just show some of their uh, um, hesitation on upgrading. You know, I don't know what the future looks like with that with that engine, but... 
it's time to you know yeah which is always astounding because they have like id software which yeah. is like they're known for engines like a lot most modern game engines are still like based off of like the quake 2 engine just gotcha. like they take that basic framework and build from there which is still stupid astounding that that's actually a thing but yeah. it was that <laughs> good gotcha um so yeah the the it's just so it's weird yeah now um it's not the end for fallout 76 right because they have um i was just looking up this up last night so wild appalachia was the last dlc that they announced and um it finally came to uh, a fun name right <laughs> it finally came to an end last week and so now gearing up towards the their announcement for their um their showcase for e3 mm -hmm. you would uh we would assume that they would uh, they'll plan out their next uh, dlc for fallout the next uh, levels of support um they have three um let's see they have a, a, co a couple of announced dlcs that they haven't announced a name but they will fully support um fall to 76 with that oh actually they have a name for them so nuclear winter and wastelanders mm -hmm. so maybe we'll just see that in more detail with the bethesda showcase at e3 yeah. something i'd really like to see with with this series so to my understanding part of the reason people really like uh fallout uh, or not fallout uh the the elder scrolls online is mm. um it's said in that really cool universe of you know, Elder Scrolls, but the yeah. gameplay is actually quite different than a traditional, like it's a That's lot true. more action based. You, you watch people online and like it plays a little bit more like an MMO. Um, so they sort of got those two components to it. I think this game needs to differentiate itself more from a fallout game. Interesting. That's a like good point. You've already, or from a new 3d fallout game, you've already dropped vats like to a different degree, like yeah. change up more stuff. And yeah, really, really run wild with it. That's not a bad idea because yeah, you're right. And with I think that's interestingly enough, that's what turned me away from Elder Scrolls Online because it looked so much, so much differently, or looked like it played differently from the last ones. I didn't jump in, but that could be their strong suit because they're not tied to that engine. It's a different right. gameplay, um, so they can really um, yeah change it up and kind of figure out what works and go with that. Yeah, um, if yeah. you don't want to play an MMO, don't play that game. Right, like that's right. so. What is what is the genre for? Does it need to be more like a Destiny, or does it need to be like more Wonder. like a maybe a little bit more looter shootery? Because like those maybe. games aren't really that looter shootery. No, you can kind of try and play them that way, but they're really they're just um, it's the controlling of your of the you know the the things you're collecting your um, the story uh, elements uh, interplay with with each other. Like the strength was never really the gunplay and that kind of you know that kind of aspect to it. So yeah, maybe you know pull away further. Well, it's funny because um, that reminds me of um, Fallout. Uh, is it uh, what's that uh, mobile game they put out? Not Fallout Bunker. It's like Fallout um, Balder. Mm, you're uh, right there. I'll look it up. But um, you know that was a completely they took like, Vault seventy. No, Vault seventy six. No, Vault no. Dweller. Um, anyways, they took that idea of you know some of the mechanics. Fallout of, Shelter. There you go. There we go. With Fallout Shelter, just just uh, managing your your shelter itself and mm -hmm. the you know the things you still have and uh, they kind of just went a different route with it maybe do something like that with um with the fallout franchise but um yeah I and know. i hear that game is great i played a little bit like initially when it launched but uh, not, i didn't pick it up afterwards but i know they kept supporting it i would think you would like it more because you're into city builders and yeah, it's like, like sort of like a city stuff. builder yep. like a sim game that's a thing um maybe i should have just spent more time with it but um but uh yeah i, I like the idea for sure but uh yeah fall shelter Got that fun Fallout personality, and that's right. Yeah, and that was such a strong suit, like just the the wackiness of the characters and how it was like dark but funny, and yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, they have their E3 showcase coming up. 